Someone just asked, is, they're like, has anybody ever seen Patch Adams? Is Moonabai inspired by Patch Adams? No. No. They are nothing alike. What, who would even, why would you even have that thought? He's both medical, I guess, and he's pretending. Okay. But that's not the same. No. Yeah, it's not the same at all. No. Watch, watch the film. You'll know. It's kind of like saying, was uh, Mrs. Doubtfire in, inspired by Soul Man? I've never seen it, so maybe. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of course. No, I'm you, Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. You can, You've never seen Soul Man? Mm -mm. You absolutely couldn't even present that script to anybody today. Nice. That's about a white guy in college who turns black. Well, they did white chicks in the early 2000s. It was really funny. We were watching something and an ad came on for Tropic Thunder. Mm -hmm. And Johnny's sitting next to me and she went, was that Robert Downey Jr. as a black guy? And I looked at her, I, I said, seen Tropic Thunder. have you never seen Tropic Thunder? She said, no, she didn't even know about it. What? Yes. I love that movie. I got to show it to her. Yeah, no. Got to show it to her. That one, people in, I've heard people say that you couldn't do that film now. I disagree. Because that film is done in a certain way that it's literally calling out that It's calling thing. out that thing. It's not like, oh, I'm pretending to be blah, blah, blah. No. It's it's literally, it's a introspective kind of meta kind of kind of thing. Yes. It's meant to be funny. Right. Uh, that one I think you could do. There's some other ones that you definitely could. I agree. Um, like White Chick, even though I've never seen it, I just, just doubt you could do it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, today we got a uh, the Captain Miller trailer is finally released. Yay! Oh, wait, Danush and the director is um, Sundeep Kishan. Uh, no, no, sorry. The, oh, this is the director. Sorry. Arun, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Arun uh, are both our bads. Arun, um, who is the Mathis director Wadden. of the Tamil film Rocky? If you haven't seen that, find it some way and watch it because go for it. And unfortunately, I do know. Unfortunately, you do know. The censor board has uh, given it the done a number on this film. The adult number. No, they've. Oh, they've made them cut it up. Yep. Yep. Love the censor board. Yep. Isn't it wonderful? I just love it when the government decides what I can and can't see. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it makes me really happy. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm hoping that the because I think sometimes I think with Leo it happened we didn't get a censored version. Because in the U.S. It's this, it's here. They can release yeah, yeah. it the way the artist so wants it released. it's the same way. Um, because but that uh, pisses me off that millions of people in India won't see what the director intended. Exactly. Here we go. Is that him? Is that our... Uh... Mark Bennington is where I was at. He's an awesome. Nalona than her. Poor Karanga, a good rogi. Unma Ireni Yari. Ni Yari. One a Kenna Venunger the Porte. Nayar under the Maro. Soon begin, and we will find out RRR. exactly what lies beneath. Ah, nice. Oh! 
believe devil i am the devil and you will call me captain miller பாசியோட சுத்திட்டு இருக்கிற ஒரு சிங்கத்துக்கு ஒரு யாரா கிடைக்கிது அதை எப்படியாவது தூக்கிட்டு போயிடலான்னு ஒரு கழுத புலி கூட்டமே அலையுது அப்போ அந்த இறைய ஓனாய் தூக்கிட்டு போனா என்ன ஆகும் That's what I expected. Great trailer. That's what I expected. Yeah, me too. Because one, this director, we've only seen one of his films. But like I said, if you haven't seen Rocky, most violent Indian film I've I've seen so far, at least, right? That still yeah. holds that still holds the hold, that holds it and up. That is a small film yeah. where he probably had in uh, like an eighth of the budget that this one has. Like something something ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and he did it so well, and I know it's not available in a lot of places. Yeah, but uh, if you can find it, please go watch it. So I have high expectations for this director. You have fucking Danush in the starring role, so you know the acting is going to be there. Um, but and even with all the cuts, did they still give it the adult rating where no one under eighteen or seventeen can even get in the theater? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I. Uh, it just. It makes me so mad. I was like, <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Um, yeah, but it it looked great. I love that it was synced to the. Yeah, the the trailer's really well put together. Syncing it to the music like that is so entertaining. Um, and that payoff moment of blowing up all the people who are like crucified or whatever they yeah. The, okay. <laughs> Damn, that was uh, that was awesome. It was headshots and. The color grading on it looked phenomenal. Everything well. looked really good. It looked very big. Yeah, very big, very well done. And it looks very clearly that there's a lot for Danush to sink his teeth into here. Uh, he He's this, this, there's a journey that this character is going to go on. Um, and there's going to be a lot of cathartic stuff that we as the audience are going to enjoy watching him shoot and blow up. I'm, um, I'm, um, Really looking forward to it. Great trailer. <clears throat> Excuse yeah, me. The uh, well put together trailer. I agree. The um, this is apparently all the cuts they they made in the film because they release, which is actually something really stupid that they do because they release like what the scene is, so it also has spoilers in it. Fuck. <laughs> and so I'm like, what are you doing? So they make the cuts and then they they make public the cuts. Yeah. Insert the main title in Tamil language. Well, at least I, I'm sure that these are heavily well. I mean, I'm sure their main concern is is artistic merit, no. right? Mute the word whatever it is, and remove the corresponding subtitles. Is one of the cuts. What's the word? Fuck cunt. No, it's it's. A, let me know what this is. Padutha, padutha, tha, padutha. I don't know. Mute the words Nagigal. Mute the words sons of bitches. Mute pigs. And white pigs. What the fuck? Well, mute Corbin. The, mute the word fucking. Come on, there might be some people who are offended. Reduce by 50% the visuals of multiple stabbings. So when you guys tell me that censorship is not that bad, who tells you that? Oh, you have people. They, oh, they, they, it's I don't know what, whatever stupid reason they have to defend the censorship board. Gee whiz, um, it makes no sense to me. The same spirit that bans books in the United States. Yeah. It's the exact same mentality. It really is infuriating, and it does a not just a gross disservice. It does violence to the capacity of an artist to express themselves however they want to express it whether or not you like it or want to you see it you don't have to go see that's it that's up to you yeah 
you're like, I don't like these violent or language films. Don't go see it. You don't have to give it your money. But stop putting your biases and little bitchness uh, on me. Okay? That's that's what I want. Did we get the uncut version and a different version of OMG2 here in the States? I don't know, because certain people have said that, but I have not gotten that confirmed. Okay. People have just said, it's like, oh, I don't think the uh, United States is... I would love... I would love to know if what we're going to get here is, is what Arun envisaged and put on film and that nothing is left on the editing floor. The final say in this is up to the director. Yep. Absolutely. It's like someone coming into my house and telling me what I can or can't do in the kitchen. Oh, you, you can't use those uh, ingredients in your food there because uh, some people in this neighborhood are going to be offended that you're cooking with that food. Well, they don't have to eat my fucking food. Yeah. Sorry, it really is infuriating. Especially with a film that I'm so looking forward to and want the director's full vision. Like, yes. I don't want a director to ever be, even if I don't like a film of theirs, I right. want them to be able to tell their story as they want it. Example, yeah. the most recent film we didn't like, for a lot of different reasons, though, was was Animal. Yeah. But I wasn't, it, it, there were things in it that I found were story-wise, but let's say, let's even go to things for, there's stand-up comics that I love, like Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais will repeatedly mock mm -hmm. and call stupid some of the things that I deeply personally believe. Yeah, It's his right to do it. Yeah. And some of what he says is funny. Yep. I, I'm not going to tell him or anybody else that he can't say that just because I don't like it. Um, sorry, we're on a, we're on yeah. a, we're on a soapbox, but it means a lot to us because we care about this. Especially this film, because I've been so looking forward to this film. This is since I've heard about it and know the director and have the, um, uh, it has Danush in it. Yeah, but it, it is, cause this is what you have. You get, you get filmmakers like an Anurag Kashyap, who yeah. it's hard enough to make a movie, yeah. who then have to battle just so that what they want to show in their story can be seen yep, and have people stopping them just because those people say, we don't think people should see what you have to show. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Anyways, anyway, uh, the trailer was great. We're looking forward to it. I, funny <sighs> enough, there are no show times yet for this. It opens next week. Yeah. It opens Thursday or Friday. Huh? There's no show times for this. Merry Christmas or the uh, alien one. So I'm assuming they're, they're waiting. They're waiting for the weekend to conclude to see what they're going to keep on screens because there's a lot of films that are still out that they have to determine: Are we going to keep this on as many screens as we've got got them on or not? And it's tough because there a lot of decisions in theaters are going to be determined by who wins the Globes on Sunday. Yeah, because whatever wins Globes is going to keep or even expand distribution. So they've got they got, they they can't do anything till, till Tuesday like or Wednesday. They also should push one of these films. To a different date. It's three Tamil films, essentially. I, I know. I mean, Merry Christmas. It's Hindi and Tamil. But it's, yeah. you're, you're going to have a big Tamil audience with who uh, who's making it and who's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Who's, yeah. Uh, who's in the film. But but I'm sure I'm sure theaters are saying, we, we're not making any decisions till after the Globes. Mm -hmm. Then we'll tell you what kind of screens we have available. Dumb. Well, no, I, I, I get it. Globes because, are dumb. Because whatever wins the Globes is going to get pushed with publicity by the production houses of those films and the theaters are going to give broader distribution because there will be people who previously didn't see the films that will now because it's won some Golden Globes. And there's any number of films in theaters right now that could win a ton of Globes. Uh, uh, poor things could win a ton of Globes. They may do re-releases of, of Barbie and Oppenheimer. You know how many films we would be in if we were in India? Yeah, I've lot. talked with Mark about it. Yeah. I'm sure you have too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because they just use the same white guys that they know. And uh, like, because he was an RR, he was an RR. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's, need... it's tempting. British white people. Um, you're not going to get the meatiest of roles, obviously. No, it's always going to be supporting things. But you're going to be working. And so, yeah, that's, it would just be, uh, it would be supporting things. That's fun. Anyways, looking forward to this film. Let yeah. us know what you thought of it. Great trailer. Should be very proud. Um, and looking forward to the film. Let us know what you thought about it down below. Josh!